Hey Vsauce, it's Everett and today we're going to be talking about cringe, the internet, the most top source place for cringe. What is cringe though? What do we define as cringe? Is my video cringe? Is it the fact that I haven't uploaded in a year? Is it my haircut? Nobody knows. We might be able to define cringe. So basically, what is cringe in the first place? Well, cringe be can be found mostly on the internet in types of media that people post online. Music, videos, and sometimes even pictures. Let's talk about the person creating the cringe, for instance, including me, because this is a video. Obviously, I don't want to make it, but I sort of want to, and at the same time, that doesn't make any sense. But that's getting off topic. Let's talk about stage fright. People go up on stage and they think that people might laugh at them, they might become embarrassed, and that's probably usually what happens when people get stage fright and it can lead to some very strange things happening on stage. Because even if someone practices something perfectly, gets it right every time, when they go to perform in front of a big audience on a stage, that might scare them out of doing something correctly. Sometimes though, with cringe, stage fright isn't the case. Sometimes it's them trying too hard to be good. Kind of like my channel. I actually try to sound like a professional YouTuber doing its job, but I end up not, and usually when I watch these videos back, it makes me cringe like heck. So, this could also be another source of cringe. Cringe is also associated with a lack of effort, something that took very little time, or was done over too quickly, took too long, or was done in a very strange, unnatural way, something that humans don't enjoy. If you think this video was high quality, or if you thought it was cringe, you're wrong on both, because it could be any of the things in between. Besides, I don't even have a cameraman or anything. The reason why the camera's moving is because I have a bird feeder. Something important also to note is that there's a fine line between being cringy and plain out boring. If you're boring, you make the viewers bored. If you're cringy, you make them cringe. And you can also be boring while being cringy, but there's a fine line between being either of them. So whether you've seen cringe, been in cringe yourself, you can always be happy knowing that there's a reason for it. And as always, thanks for watching.